I turned my Civic Type R into a camper. Let's have a look. So with the Type R camper package, you get a stainless steel sink, a high-end faucet that you would find in any house with the removable thing here, you know? Double as a shower even, possibly, who knows? We have nice butcher block wood right here, okay? Yeah, and we have extra space for a stove to cook it up. And storage galore here, okay? So you wanna cook up, you know, a nice little steak, you know? There you go, how you doing, okay? Now one of the many challenges we faced with the Type R camper was how do we get a faucet like this that is clearly too high to fit in the car, to fit in the car? Well, come over here, we have a simple unlock that right there. Push these in, slides down like that. Find the hole down here to lock it back into. And there you go, you're on your way. So the Type R camper is in no short supply of storage. I mean, check out all of this room we have down here. Also have this nice drawer here for some cutlery, potentially. And if you come over here, this beautiful brid curtain here, hand-stitched by yours truly. And the black finish really complements the, the nice wood. Very, very nice. Now, if you're wondering where the water supply is for the sink, you'll find that right underneath here where the back seats used to be. We got a two liter water tank there. A water pump here that we connect to our jackery. Another feature of the Type R camper is the library. It can hold anywhere between 10 and 15 books, so you need a little reading material while you're on the road. Just pop over here, take one of these guys out. There you go. When you're done, slide her back on in, hook it up, and you're on your way. Now you're probably thinking, Lee Berry, this bed cannot be long enough. Here to back here can't be more than what? Five feet? You would be correct. Now luckily, with the Type R camper, it extends. Let me show you. So to extend the bed in the Type R camper, simply move the front passenger seat forward, reach in here, and you flip that up. Now for reference, I'm six foot four, and I fit beautifully. I've really never had a better night's sleep than in the Type R camper. <sighs> now another great feature of the Type R camper is these vents on the top of the back window. Now, these allow you to sleep in the car at night while still getting a nice breeze in there, but they have these screens on them so bugs don't get in. So, it's uh, originally a race car part, repurposed now in the camping world. Another upgrade you get with the Type R camper is these 18 inch wheels. They allow us to run a thicker sidewall tire than the stock 20s. So when we're in a, a little more treacherous conditions, we'll make it through. Also, if you ever need a great place to fly a drone, yeah, right here, it's perfect, nothing beats it. Hey, I didn't see you there. Spending the night in a Type R camper is a luxury. There really isn't any better place I could ever imagine sleeping. This, this is it. Now when you decide it's time to go, packing up is easy as ever. We'll do the dishes later. Back to that. These are quick and easy. Fold away, undo this, swing it around, drop her down, find the hole, there you go. Stow the butcher block right underneath the mattress back here. Very easy. Remove the pole, slides right on it. Simple as that, put that there just in case and you're on your way. From the outside, it's just any other Type R on the road. But from the inside, it's basically a studio apartment. 
Oh. Eek. It's a camper, but it's still pretty low to the ground for a camper. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we're good. We're good. Yeah. I put her on four wheel drive. There we go. Oh, yeah. So people always ask me, is it still as fun to drive? It can't be as fun to drive. It's got a kitchen in the back. <laughs> Let me tell you, you're wrong. Shit rips. dishes back there but we're good okay should have put that pan away but you know <laughs>